Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Shadnam. I'm one of the physician associates working at First Care Practice. Today, I'll be holding a fun session on coronavirus. So I can imagine you're all a bit worried, scared and confused during this time. So, but this so this session is to help you learn a little bit about coronavirus. So by the end, you're an expert and you can share your knowledge with your friends and family. So first, I'm quickly going to go through a brief presentation on what coronavirus is and how we can stop it. Then we will move on to a quick quiz. So one by one, questions will pop up on your screen. You'll have a few seconds to pick one answer alone and then we'll go through the answers. So we want you to aim for 100%. Uh, Sarah, if I can have, thank you. So we know that coronavirus is affecting the whole world, but what is it? Next slide. So it's a new virus that we don't know much about, but we do know that it affects people's lungs and breathing. It causes an Ill illness called COVID-19, and it can cause loads of symptoms, the main ones being fever, a new and constant cough, and it can go on to leading breathing, it could go on to causing breathing problems. Next slide, please. So, why is it dangerous? If we use this little diagram to represent coronavirus, so coronavirus is a bad virus. It gets into the body and it starts affecting the good cells in the body. So it kills them off and starts making more of itself, loads of little babies, which will go on and attack other cells in your body, making you very unwell. Next slide, please. So how can we stop it? There's a lot of things you can do to keep yourself and your family safe. The first one and most important one is to wash your hands often. You should always wash your hands every time you're eating, going outside, touching things, and you should wash for 20 seconds with soap and water. You should always sneeze and cough in tissues. And if you cannot, you can use the inner part of your elbow. Um, and when you have those tissues, please throw them in the bin. You don't want to leave them around because other people can get pick up the virus from the dirty tissues. Another thing you can do is stay away from sick and elderly people. So like your grandparents, you should avoid seeing them. And the most important thing is stay at home. Do not go outdoors and to protect both yourself and other people around you. Okay, now we'll move on to the quiz. So please, Read the, I'll read the question for you, and then you can pick one answer. So if we can have the first question, please. Sarah, can I have the first question, please? So, what is another name for coronavirus? Is it Corner 19? Is it Cave 91? Corona disease? Or COVID 19? So, if we. Okay. So, the correct answer is COVID 19, and that's what most of you got. So, well done. The other ones are not names of diseases. Can we move on? Next question, please. Can we have the next question, please? How can you spread the, sorry, how can you prevent the spread of coronavirus? So what can you do to stop it? Going to the park, washing your hands, playing games or drinking juice? So, well done everybody. Um, washing your hands is the correct answer. Remember, you need to wash for 20 seconds with soap and water. 
Next question, please. Which of these symptoms which of these symptoms is not a symptom of coronavirus? Is it cough, fever, laughing, or body ache? So, that's time over. So, well done. Everybody got this question. Other symptoms of cough, fever and body aches. The coronavirus is dangerous. Is it true or false? So the answer is true. It can make you very unwell. So you must always do the things that we discussed to protect yourself and your family. Can we move on to the next question? Please. What should you do if you have the coronavirus? You cough or on everyone or should you so you should stay at home that is the correct answer um, that will protect you from get passing it on to other people and to help yourself get better soon next question please if I hear someone cough it means they have the coronavirus is that true or false So if we can answer the question, please. So time's up. It's very important to note that somebody coughing does not always mean they have the coronavirus. Other illnesses and problems can cause cough as well, such as allergies and asthma. So please be nice to people when they do cough around you. Um, and last question, how long should you stay at home for if you have the coronavirus? One hour, one day, or at least one week? So the correct answer is at least one week. So if you feel any symptoms of fever, cough, general aches and pains, or breathing problems, both you and your family members should be self-isolating for at least one week. Thank you. So most of you got that question right as well. So I hope that was useful and that you enjoyed it. Now that you've passed the quiz and become little experts, we want you to share what you've learned with people around you and make sure they are safe as well. We would like to spend a few minutes uh, to look for examples of selflessness and examples of people helping you or you helping others during this difficult time. So this could be, for example, you helping an elderly neighbour with their shopping or buying their uh, bread and essentials. If you have any examples, we'd be grateful if you can put it at the bottom, so where it says uh, chat qu question and answer. And also, if you have any other questions that you would like us to answer, please share it and we would be happy to help. So thank you for joining me. And remember, keep washing your hands, stay at home 
and be safe. And finally, if you could just give us some feedback, you would get a, a question has popped up now. Please give us some feedback on how you found this webinar. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. We'll be having more webinars soon. Bye.